telling you himself, he's his life. <laughs> This is your girl Shani and I'm back once again, but I'm going to be talking about my hair do. Now this, you probably are like, oh my gosh Chantal, like you did just something to your natural. I love it. I'm so stealing that style. Girl, you got that blue in the back. Like damn, you looking kind of cute. What type of hair is that? Well, let me tell you guys now, this is the crochet braid style. Yes, this is not my natural hair. I wish, but you know. It's good to wish, right? So this is a braiding crochet style that I've been sporting for the last couple of weeks now. And I've gotten a lot of comments and questions about it on my Instagram, on my Facebook, and even here on YouTube. So I wanted to make a video with you guys about the hair, what I did with the hair, what kind of hair that I use, how it happens, what do I do with it after, and how many ways can I style this hair? Because I feel like a lot of girls don't know how to style this hair. So. Here is a video that I'm going to do to explain all of that together. So if you guys are interested in how I got my crochet braids and what do I do to maintain it and how did I achieve it, just stay tuned. So let's get into the video about this hair. So the hair is the crochet braiding hair style. I don't know what you want to call it. But basically that's what it is. And basically what it is is that it's crocheting the hair on your cornrows in your head. That's that, okay? It is a great way for us natural girls to protect our hair and also our transitional girls to protect our hair. I live in the Northeast, which I hate, and I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of snow. And of course, I do not want to use or deal with my natural hair in the winter time. So for me to have this style in the winter time and still be able to rock my natural styles, I feel like it is the best of my buck. Now this is also a cheap style to use. This hair, I would say, would cost me under $50 and I got it from my local beauty supply store. So you can't beat that deal. And I will tell you right now that this hair you may think is really hard to manage, but trust me, the little techniques that I'll tell you in this video, it's so easy, guys. It's so easy and trust me, once you do it, you're gonna love it. You're so gonna love it. So the hair that I used was the Jenna Noir hair. And this is what I have left of the package. But basically the hair comes all together long. And what I did was I cut it in half because I wanted to kind of get the short kind of tapered look and I didn't want it to be all long down to my butt. Didn't want that. So I cut the hair in half and then I started to break up the hair from its lock because the hair comes in a lock. So this is how the hair comes in. And so for me to get it more natural and to get more smaller pieces towards the front, I broke up the lock so I was able to crochet the hair onto the braid. And it worked like a charm. So love the way that the hair was easy to use and it was soft and it was very manageable for me to use as I did my crochet braiding style. Now let's talk about the foundation and how you're supposed to stabilize your foundation of your braids. So what I did was, and I'll post a picture in here, was I did my set it off braids. That's what I call them, my set it off braids, okay? My Clio set it off braids. And I basically did 12 braids in the front and I divided that in half and put six in the back. So that's what I did. And the reason why I did that is because you wanna be able to versatile the part in the front of your hair. You don't want it just to have that one conventional part in the middle. You may wanna put it to the side, or Maybe you want to put it to the other side. Maybe you want a deeper part. You know, you want to be able to have ways to change up the style of your hair. And trust me, that's been the best thing for me. And I love that about this style. So I had the 12 braids in the front. And then I combined the two or three. And I put them all in the back. And basically, I have six braids going in the back. And then I have one braid that I just kind of sewed together and put on the bottom of my braid. And that's pretty much it, guys. It was that easy simple and it took me about an hour and a half to braid my own hair so that's how the foundation of the braid crocheting style works now let's get into the nitty-gritty of the hair the crocheting part now the needle that I used was my normal old craft needle now the crocheting needle um, is nothing too crazy it's not like a, a experiment it's not like a rocket science 
like mad experiment. It's pretty easy to use. I used to do latch hook back in the day, back in my younger days when I was a little baby shanty. And I used to be all creative with the little latch hook and the and thread and the needle. And so that's what I used to do. So when I was uh, surprised that they were basically using the craft needle, I'm like, hmm, that makes sense. Because of course you're doing the same thing as if you were doing it on a rug onto your hair so that's what I did so I used my own craft needle and I got this one from Michaels you can also probably get it from Joann's or you can even probably get it from Hobby Lobby but I haven't got a chance to check so that's the needle that you are going to use and that's it guys no other things no other stuff to use just this so let's get into how you put the needle and the hair and the braid and all that good jazz let's do all of that So basically the way the hair comes is it comes like this in a lock like I said and you can break it up as you get towards the front because if you want smaller pieces you have to break up the hair to get towards the front to make it look a little naturaler. So this is the crocheting braid, crocheting hair. Well yeah the crocheting hair, the afro kinky hair. And then basically what I'll do is that say this my finger is the braid. So what I will do is unhook my crocheting needle and then I will put it under the braid. Okay, so once I put it under the braid, you can either put it on the side to slide it in or you can put it like this to slide it in. Your hair will not get caught. I will repeat, your hair will not get caught. So you can slide it in this way or you can slide it in this way. So what you do once you slide it in, you want to make sure that this part is on the other side. The hook and the, lock, the latch it too. Once you do that, you hook the hair right onto the crochet hook and lock it. Lock it. Lock it. You do not want your hair to get caught by that needle because it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. So once you do that, you're going to slide this right underneath the braid. And basically, you will have a hoop on this side of the braid. And then you have the rest of your hair dangling. Once you do that, you open the hole. Go like this. Pull it. Now you have this part as a hole, boop, 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 and then this part is your hair. Now you twist this, right? You twist that, bring it on the other side, okay? Got it on the other side. Then you want to twist it one more time and lock it. And that's how it's going to look on your braid. All you got to do is tighten it. And that's how it should look when it's on your braid on your head. You can be able to move it this way or this way. And that's how it's going to work. See guys? Just like this. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. Now you're going to do that all, all, all up in your head. You're going to do that all the way up to the middle and also to the front. And like I said, to get more of a realistic look, like it's actually your hair going out your head, you want to make sure you use smaller pieces when you're doing the front because it will look a lot naturaler if you do and use smaller pieces. So that's it, guys. That's how the crocheting braid style works, and that's how it is. And put it in your head, and put it installed in your head. Okay, so of course, I can move my part, I can move my part down the middle, I can move my part down the side, I can move my part in the deeper part, and that's the versatility of this hair. Now, in the sense of managing and styling the hair, now this is what I did for me, I used perm rods to get to my nice curly my suit my curly suit hairstyle so I was very much very curly 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 and the way I achieved that style was I used perm rods water leave-in conditioner why I say all of this because you want to be able to make sure that the hair is manageable to use so what I would do is I would section off my hair in a couple of sections and work at a section at a time I would spray the hair with some water and then I will use my handy dandy leave-in conditioner and the one that I use is from Carol's daughter and it's the hair milk and I would probably put like about a dime size in my hand rub it up together and put it in my hair it makes the hair soft it makes the hair easy and manageable and then I would use one of my um my weave brushes and I would just brush it out 
just brush it, brush it out. It doesn't matter, it's not gonna make your hair thin, it's going to at least be able to detangle the hair once you are going to be preparing yourself to put the perm rods in. So the perm rods that I used was these nice little cute little purple ones. Hair. This cute little purple ones that I used and I love them. I absolutely love them. They were easy and they would never really popped on me. I didn't have I did have about probably like a good five or six of them pop, but I had so many of them, like I was good. Make sure you have a lot. Make sure you have a lot. But yes, I had so many of these perm rods that I wouldn't care if I lost five. I had them. So basically I would wrap the hair around the perm rod and then use this little hook. To lock the hair on the perm rod and then get my boiling cup of hot water dip my hair in the cup keep it in there for five to ten seconds and then take it out blot it with a towel and just let it dry for about a good I would say five to ten minutes and then you're done you're done you'll take it out and the curl will pop out beautifully and I'll have pictures in here of the curls and also the preparation when they were in the perm rods. So you guys will make sure you look at those photos. Now, as for the aftermath of you using and doing and having this beautiful hairstyle, what else can you do? How do you keep it up after it's being installed? Well, the way that I keep this hair in, keep this hair kind of fresh and renew is I do have a bonnet, trusty old bonnet. It's kind of reversible too, it's reversible. I have a bonnet and all you gotta do is just shove that hair all up in that bonnet, you're good to go to bed. Um, as for refreshing the curls, I would always use a perm rod to refresh the curls in certain areas where the curls had fallen and reboil them in hot water, let them dry for a couple of um, couple of minutes and then take them out the perm rod and boom, I have my curls refreshed. Um, if you wanna get a style like this, what I did was I actually sectioned off my hair, blow dried my hair, and then I just braided it. And that's how I got this kind of crimpy, kind of fresh style. And that's all, guys. Like, it's so easy. You cannot, like, understand how easy this thing is. This thing is so freaking easy. Like, anybody can do it. So, if you guys have any questions, any concerns, if you have some problems with it, or should you use a different type of hair other than the Janet Noir hair, Feel free to comment down below in the description, um, comment down below in the comment box below. Let me know. I'll give you guys the best answers that I can give you. And also hit me up on Instagram because I'm always there. Or hit me up on Facebook, whatever you like to do. And um, I will definitely be updating you guys more on this style as it starts to get older. And you know that it is. That's all, guys. So I will tune in to you guys another day. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Take care, guys.